forgetful. Uh, yeah. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Hello. Thursday Night Social. Um, tonight, we're going to talk a little bit. Um, well, we have a special guest, presenter, athlete leader, Anastasia Kulik, who will present on uh, a little bit of, we're going to do a little bit of Russian language and a little bit of Russian culture. Uh, Anastasia is originally from Russia, and so she wanted to share her wonderful culture with us tonight. Uh, so I'm going to operate the slide deck, and Anastasia, you are going to just uh, kind of take it from there, and I'll chime in when I can, okay? Sounds good. All right, and then you just tell me when we have to open up the, um, we have to open up the mute for questions. So let's get, okay. let's see. Oh, Monique's coming in, all right. From the beginning. All right. All right. So this is the ling the Russian language culture. All right. By me. Our host. So actually <laughs> I play soccer and that's me getting dressed up for dance. <laughs> All right. Are you going to that uh, night out or that uh... Yeah, the night to shine. Night to shine, that's what yep. it's called. Yeah, excellent. Great dance ever. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. All right. And so kind of on our All agenda. Right. So the yeah. agenda is we're going to learn some basic Russian, which is numbers, the alphabet, the greetings, and the basic phrases. All right. And, uh, and we're also going to sh do a show and tell, which means I have actually stuff that are from Russia that I've, when I was adopted, and um, that mom went to get souvenirs for when I was little. So we're going to, I'll show you guys that throughout the slideshow. Okay, excellent. And then um, I am going to go to next. Okay, so this is the Russian numbers. So number one is called name is Adin. And then second one is Dva. The third one is three. The fourth one is Chetere. The four no, the fifth one is Piet. Um, the sixth one is Scheist, and then uh, seven is Sim, um, eight is Voisim, nine is Dievit, and ten is Dievisit. All right. Should we... Uh, uh, yeah, unmute everybody. Yeah, you, you are co-host, so you can oh, unmute so whoever you wish. How do I do that? I'm new to this. <laughs> so, uh, if you're looking at the, uh, everybody at once, on the right top corner of their photo, there should be three dots. Uh, the top right corner. I don't know how to do this. Oh, okay. You know what? I, you know what? I'm going to take a stop. I'll pause here. Hey. Sorry, guys. Hey, no, no problem at all. Jesse, can I make you co-host and you can help with the mute unmute? Do you mind? Yep. Yeah. Okay, cool. Making Jesse the co-host. All right, so we're gonna go back to my screen share and then um, you can call on some people and they can practice uh, some Hi. Russian numbers. Yeah, actually, can we go down the line? Yeah, if you'd yeah, pick, pick someone and then Jesse so will unmute them. Can Jesse unmute, I don't know if I'm saying her name right, Car Carissa? Carissa, yeah. Yeah. Okay, do you want to go with me through the numbers oh. in Russian? Hold on. I'm hitting it, but it's not unmuting. Oh, Chrissy, you may have to unmute yourself. Oh, that's probably what. There we go. <laughs> All right, do you want to go with me through the Russian alf uh, letters? Yeah. All right, so number one is, can you say Adin? Adin. Okay, two is Deva. Deva. Three is three. Three. Four is Chetere. It's a little hard. Oh, yeah. All right, five is Piet. Piet. Six is Scheist. Hi. Seven is Sem. Sem. Eight is Voisem. Nine is Dev. Yeah. 
10 is DSSS. DSSS, yeah. Good job. All right, Carissa, nice. All right, David. All right. You got it, or we go with you along with it? Um, I'm, I'm going to follow your instructions. Okay, we're going to do one. It's Adin. Adin. Deva. Deva. Three. Three. Chatere. Chatere. Piet. Piet. Scheist. Scheist. Sem. Sem. Voisem. Voisem. Dieses. Dieses. No, Dievet. And then Dieses. Sorry. <laughs> Dievet. And then Dieses. Yeah. Dieses. Good job. Good nice job, David. All right, Elena. I'm here. All right, let's do this together. Ready? Yep. Adin. Adin. Dava. Dava. Three. Three. Tatere. Piet. Piet. Scheist. Scheist. Sam. Sam. Voisem. Voisem. Dieset. Dieset. Dieses. Dieses. Nice job. Great. The line is Jess hang out with her. Jesse. Yep. All right. You ready? I'm up. All right. All right. Adin. Adin. Deva. Deva. Three. Three. Chetere. Chetere. Piet. Piet. Scheist. Scheist. Zem. Zem. Voisem. Voisem. Dievet. Dievet. DSSS. DSSS. Good job. Thank you. Uh, who else is down the line? Danielle. Hello, Danielle. I don't know how to say your name. Danielle. Can we do two Are people you? at a time or no? Or would that be too much? No, we could. We could do two. We could yeah. do two, two people at one time? Sure. All right. Can we do Danielle and Paul? Paul, or <laughs> unmuted Paul. All right, we're gonna do this together, guys. Adin. Adin. Deva. 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 Three. Three. Chatere. 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 Pet. 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 Scheist. Scheist. Sem. Sem. Voisem. Voisem. Dievet. Dievete. Dievesis. Dievesis. Good job. All right, can nice. we undo Donnie and Michael? Donnie and Michael, all right. Please. Donnie and Michael, all right. All right, Adin. Adin. Deva. Adin. Three. Deva. Three. Three. Chetere. Chetere. Kiet. Pet. Scheist. Sust. Wow. Sam. 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 Voisem. 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 Dietit. 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 Okay. Then can we do Sam and Hannah? Sorry, who and Hannah? Sam and Sam. Hannah. Okay, sorry, Sam. I I see you. I see you pointing to yourself. This guy. This guy. <laughs> Hold on. Before I forget, I want to say this now. Before I forget, I love that you're having us interact, making this interactive. Oh, you're very welcome. And, Thank uh, you. Jason, did you see my message? I did, sir. All right. Yep. Cool. Oh, okay. All right. Ready? Ready? Adin. Adin. Deva. 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 Three. 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 Chatere. Chatere. Papare. Piet. Piet. Yes. Scheist. 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 Sam. Sam. Voisem. Voisem. Dievet. Dievet. Yes, it says. Yes, it says. Okay. Who else is on? Oh, wow, we have a lot. Okay, we have. 
did we we, did, we already did Donnie, right? So do, can we do we third? This. All right, because let's do Monique and Danny and Stephanie. Okay. We're going to do three of them since that's the last of them, right? Yep, perfect. Danny, yes. 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 All right, you guys ready? Yeah. All yep. right. Adine. Adine. Deva. Deva. Three. 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 Chetere. Chetere. Kit. Yes. yes. Scheist. Scheist. Sam. Sam. Voisem. Voisem. Dievet. Dievet. Dieses. Dieses. Good job. All right, can we mute everybody? And I want to say one thing about this slide real quick. Actually, unmute everybody. I do have, I want them to. Yeah, unmute everybody, please. Sorry. <laughs> so, can I, does anybody know, realize that actually one person said that three is actually almost like three? That's what I said. I was going to say that right. too, actually. Stay here. You're the one that's more normal, but if you look oh. over to the left side, all the words look so, so different, right? Mm -hmm. That's how our alphabet is. Cyrillic. Ah. So all the what letters are different. Oh, that's Hey, Mike. I think your uh, your signal's not coming in full there, but. All right. Can we mute everybody and go to the next slide, please? All right, this is the alphabet. Uh -oh. What the freak? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm going to I'm going to throw in a point if I if you don't mind. Oh yeah, go for it. Go for it. And I think I think someone said that I forget who just in the last slide that so the alphabet looks different because it is a completely different alphabet than the Roman alphabet that we use or Roman. So uh, this is called Cyrillic, and so it is a. They have different letters that represent different things. Some look the same as ours, but some are very different. So this is. <laughs> There's a lot of ease. <laughs> There's a lot of ease, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna go through the alphabet real quick, so you guys can un so that way you guys will know how it's said. Okay. Is everybody muted? Be, ve, ge, de, yo, ze, ze, e, e, krashka, k, l, m, n, o, p, r, e, t, u, f, Ka tes uvan sha shavan. Uh, that one's weird. I don't know that one. I'm sorry, guys. I okay. can't say that one. Um, where am I? Uva. All right, go down. Or is that it? Is that that it? is it. That is it. Yeah, that was so. The alphabet's really weird. There's a lot of short E's, a lot of long E's. There's a lot of Shaw's and sh yeah, it's just crazy. So. Hey, Anastasia, what if we got people to spell their first name using the the alphabet? Okay, we can do that. Or at least some people, right? And then yeah, we can do that. All right, let's pick somebody and they can they can spell their first name. And if they can't find the letter on there, you can ask Anastasia what letter that might be then. So. All right, let's do, let's do Sam first. I don't know if you saw that, Jason, but I literally just said, I want to spell it in my name. <laughs> and I was like, dang you, Jason. <laughs> I, I can't see the chat when I have it's the okay. slides up. It's so. okay. Um, where is S on here? I'm trying to find it. Okay. I can see A, but that's a, an M, but that's about it. Nope. S's are weird. Actually, the S. Okay. Do you see where the X, where it looks like an X? 
Yeah, ka. Okay, go down. Uh -huh. So one, two, to the third one down to sha. That's okay. the s. Sha is like s there. And where's an a is obviously ah. Yeah. And m is an is obviously m. Right. All right, shaha, shaha m. Your yours will be sham. Oh, it's not that, not that, not that. It's not different. So basically, it's the same as mine. Yeah. That's so cool. Sam is Sham. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. okay, so neat. Let's try Elena. Oh, this is going to be hard. <laughs> I might need paper for this. <laughs> I think I'll do my, what? I think I'll do my middle name for you, Stash, because I don't think a lot of people know them. Okay. Um, so my middle name is Alicia, so it's Ah. Uh, I'm looking for the L. The L. Oh, okay, the L is underneath the K. Oh, so mine is from the beginning. It's Ah. L. Looking for the I. <laughs> or here, I'll just do my my. E-A-C. Where is Z? The I Z. Z. G. Z. Ah, so that's Alicia in Russian. <laughs> I probably just butchered it. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. Sounded so that's good. my middle name, everyone, Alicia. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Elena. You're welcome. Let's do two more people. Let's right. try, Hannah sounds fun. Let's try Hannah. And if we're, if you don't get a round in this round, we'll pick you for a different exercise coming up, so. Yeah, yeah. for sure. So it's H-N, E-H-N. Actually, you would have the X, which oh. will be Ka. Oh, Ka. And then the a, let's be a. Uh, and then the N. No, actually, it'll be the double oh. H. The so double N. H. Yeah, it'll be, because the H, R, H's are actually N's, believe uh, it or not. Where's, where's the double H? Well, it would be N, and then we're underneath the M will be the N, E, N, N. You get what I'm saying? And, and um, Jason, can you point out the uh, right <laughs> underneath the M? Can you point out the little dot H that looks like the H under, like right oh. between the M and the O? Yeah, so, just, uh, so that's like, it. Um, go over. I, Jason. Okay. Yeah. Um, so can you see my cursor? Probably not. So it's ka a n n. Aka. So it will sound like <laughs> Hana. Hana. It's close. Yeah, it's like Hannah, but Hana. Hana. Go. All right. Let's pick Hana. <laughs> Let's do face. Would you know how to spell your name in Russian? No. <laughs> you want me to help you? Yes. All right. It will be the B, the second, the third letter after A, it would be the, the big B. And then yours would be the E, which would be the little E underneath the D, which would be V. That's yours. And then it will be the P, which is um uh per pe yeah and then it will be back to the a and it will be vera <laughs> vera vera <laughs> which is actually pretty funny cuz actually when i was born in russia my name was vera so it's close <laughs> it's kind of cool isn't it mhm mm it's kind of cool. 
So we have some of our names in Russian. Let's pick one more. Let's try, I need to scroll through my peoples. Sorry guys. Let's try, did we already do Paul? We did not. Let's do Paul. Alright. Yours is very short, just to give you a heads up. Would you know how to spell it? Let's see. Er, ah, um, the, the, sa, the L. Hmm. Is it L? E H L? Actually. There's only three letters in your name. It oh. would be Pe, which is underneath the O. And then it will be the O. And it'll go back to. Well, I've got to find it. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? It's different on here. And it'll go to L. Oh, okay. It'll be P O L. P O L. And it'll be pull. Pull. Like, almost like pull, but pull. Okay. Isn't that cool? Yeah. All right. Can we go to the next slide? So that's our alphabet, by the way. It's a little weird. Just, just different. <laughs> All right. These are the basic Russian vocabulary words of if you go, if you ever go there and you can say hello, bye, and everything. Well, hello is привет. Привет means hello or hi. Goodbye is до свидания. Yes is da. No is нет. Please is пожалуйста. Thank you is спасибо. Welcome is doble oche. Excuse me is inventia. Um, sorry is the same thing. Where is gide? When is cog cogda? <laughs> um, how is cock? Who is katu? And in which is kakoi? Kakoi. So. If you want to say, hi, how are you in Russian, you will say, привет, как дела? means, hi, how are you? It's pretty That's cool. cool. Very cool. I think we could pick some people to try a few words here. Yeah, let's pick Stephanie. Miss mm -hmm. Piles, you ready? You're, you're unmuted. Just hit yourself when you're ready. Stephanie. Hmm. Okay, should we try someone else? Yeah, I think so. Right. Let's try Melissa. All right, what what word would you like to try to say in Russian? Um, the English is on the left side. Okay, thank you. All right, spicyba. Spiceba. Yep. <laughs> and one more word. Okay. Um, excuse me. Oh, that's a hard one. Invitia. I think we're saying it. <laughs> okay. Breathe it again. What? Repeat the thing that you said. Invite. I'll pick a different one. I'll oh, see. Sorry. Sorry. It's the same one. Oh, it is. Um, when? When? Kod kada. 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 Yep. Okay, right. got it. Let's pick, uh, who hasn't gone yet? 
Well, everyone went with the numbers, but in the uh, first name spelling, we had Paul, Faith, Sam, Elena, and Melissa just went with this one. So anyone other than those people would be great. Um, let's try David. All right. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm ready. All right, what word would you like to try to say in Russian? Um, I'd like to say, please. Please? Yes. Pajosta. Pajosta. Yeah, Pajosta is please. And one more. Welcome. Espasiva. Espasiva. Yep, Espasiva and Pajos. <laughs> Please and thank you. What, what, I think David said welcome, though. Welcome? Yeah. Oh, welcome is, oh, God. Doble, doble Pajos. Wait. Yeah, doble Pajosta. Or, yeah. Doble Pajosta. I believe that's right. Yep. Very good. All right. Good job, David. Thank you. Es pasiva. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. Right. I like how you said that. All right. Um, let's go to the next slide. Next slide. All right. Let's see what I do the next slide. All right, these are family members. Ooh, so, cool. yeah, this is how you would say these. Um, give me a minute. People are calling me. Sorry. Okay, family is sem semia. Sem yeah, and then father is. Oh, why can't I see this? Hang on, sorry guys. Oh, tests, and then mother is mat. Father is dead. That's mean to say, but that's what it is. Grandmother's my favorite one is Babushka. Grandson is Vanuk. Granddaughter is Vanushka. Grandparents are Dadushka and basically the I is the and and Babushka. Grandchildren is Vanushka. Vanichata. No, Nuchata. Yeah, because the V is silent. That's right. Nuchata. Um, brat is brother. Sister is sister. Sin is son. Dutch is daughter. Wait. Wait. That. Sorry, guys. Um, guy, wait. Yeah, that. That's a yeah. That's an I. Okay. Diada, die. Oh, I can't say. Die, da. Yeah, something like that. And then tet, tet, ya is aunt. And then plem, plemionic is nephew. So that was a little hard. Sorry, guys. I'm getting you guys confused. Are there some people who want to try kind of some family members that haven't gone yet? Yeah, let's try that. Did it is uncle. Sorry, guys. All right, let's give Donnie a try. What would what word would you like to learn? Huh. Family. Aunt? Family. Family? Yes. S Simia. Simia. Yeah, Simia. Because that apostrophe, whatever that is, that's actually an I. Samia. Yes. And the other word? Yes. Which one? Father. Father? Yes. Uh, eh. Oh, tests. 
a test. Yep. Right. Good job, Donnie. Yeah, a test. Yeah. Ooh, tits. Okay. Um, who else do we need? How about Danny? You know, I did not say the word niece. How do you say niece? That's a very good question. We did not add yeah, niece. All right. Premia Mitsa. Premia Mitsa. Yeah, that's niece. And I another question. I saw Paka. Why isn't Paka goodbye? To me, I saw those for Daniel. We'll see you later. Um, it can mean both. Paka is bye. Right. And then Dasvidanya is goodbye. Yeah. Oh, yeah. so there's, there's a formal and uh, a not formal. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Right. Now I get it. Yeah, our language is weird. I know. <laughs> Danny, was there another family member you wanted? So, no, that's all, Jason, but thanks for the offer. Okay. All right, let's get Jesse in here. Uh, I like babushka because I was the only one I've heard before. Babushka is a fun one to say. <laughs> I might ask my mom if she wants that to be her grandma name, babushka. I don't like grandfather. It's dead. <laughs> oh, so it's grandfather is dead, Dushka? Yeah. Dushka and Babushka. Yeah. Like, I don't like that. <laughs> Brother looks like brat, too. Yeah, brat. Brat, okay. Yeah, it looks like brat, but it actually says brat because our A's are A's. I like it. Thank you. You're welcome. So, Jesse, do you want to know the word for baby? <laughs> oh, sure. <laughs> Do you, do you know? Am I putting you on the spot? No, I, I, I have a baby. I have a baby that's been kicking me this whole time. So, hang on. Prebuka. Prebuka is baby. Prebuka. 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 Okay. Prebuka okay. <laughs> is baby. <laughs> okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Um. Anyone else? Um, let's see. Let's give Danielle a try. And then after Danielle, we'll go to the next slide. Sure. Either she has to meet herself or yeah. no, there we go. Right on me. All right. What, what, what would you like to learn? I'm gonna do um I'm gonna pick my grandparents. Grandparents. <laughs> did it. Did it is grandparents since it's not on here. Oh yeah it is. It's did it is grandparents. Or it could be Dadushka and Babushka. If you want to say grandmother and granddad, or if it's just grandparents is did it. Anything else? I did brother. Brother? Yeah. Brought. See, now you can go to your brother and call him brat. <laughs> Don't call him brat, because not, that's not how we say it. This looks like that. It's called brat. Brat. F -A -R -Call. <laughs> Sorry. Uncle? Yeah. Did it. Yeah, Jason. Mm. I, ha I have an uncle too. Okay, well you can call him Didi. <laughs> Didi. Didi. He 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 died, so he's not here no more. Oh, oh I'm right. sorry to hear that. Okay, thank you everybody. We're going right. ready for the next uh, slide. Oh, next slide. Oh, there's a lot here. <laughs> oh man, there is a lot. Okay, so. We have. Oh, sorry, went. I went the wrong ah. way. I was, 
I was I, I moved ahead. <laughs> so I was just I was just looking at the time for you. Do we want to move ahead to this one since it's Special Olympics related? And then we'll have time for the culture part as well. Um sure. Okay. So we'll we uh, oh. What happened? Oh. To the oh no. Sorry, the slide isn't there. Oh no. Time out. I'll be right back. Hold on. <laughs> Sorry, guys. We had a slide deck, and we did put it in there, and then it went away. So. And it just disappeared. Gosh. Oh no. How could you? <laughs> I know. It's terrible. It's terrible. We had. Did I put it somewhere else? I'll go here. <laughs> Yeah, the other one was too long. <laughs> we can do that later. <laughs> yeah, so we'll do Russian culture. Open with. Maybe we updated it and I didn't. In our. Save it or something. Yeah. Ah. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna. Coming back to you guys. I just didn't update my slide. I apologize. Uh... Uh, right. We are here, and we're going to share, and that's the wrong one, okay. My apologies again. Okay. You. So, our way to say special Olympics is, give me a minute, Specimli Inada Olympiada. It's very complicated, but that's how you see Special Olympics. Specialnia Olympiada. Yeah, Specialnia Olympiada. All right, so bringing it back to Special Olympics. All right, good. Yep. And then and this is just if you oh, want and to see. that's Maryland, yeah. Yeah. Maryland. Maryland. Yeah. yeah, Maryland. Oh, okay. So that's good. And then okay. So we just had those two in there. Okay. Uh, good. Let's get into some Russian culture, Anastasia. Oh yeah, this one's fun. All right. That's a Russian flag. It's just like almost red, white, and blue, except opposite colors. It's white, blue, red. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Very good. And the bear is our official animal in Russia. Apparently, I found out out too. <laughs> Something new. <laughs> Um, this is our, so we are, we're big in sports, or Russia is big in sports, and this is actually their, what is it called? What's that word, Jason? Soccer team? No, not the soccer team, they're, um. Football. Well, they call it football, but it's, there, it's like their, not their mascot, but their. Oh, their, um, their logo, or their yeah, emblem. Yeah, their logo, that's their logo that they have. So if you ever go to Russia and you want a shirt or something, they have that on their, that's, that's their main, like their main logo, yeah. yeah. And they're big in hockey too. They, they are big in sports. They do hockey and soccer. Yeah. All right. And we did a little bit on foods of Russia. So we're going to let you. Jason. <laughs> All right. Here you go. <laughs> so this is called borscht. It's really, really gross. I don't like it. We have to eat it every year. <laughs> I'm making it fun, but I don't like it. It's like, it's almost like pea soup, if you ever heard of that, guys. Except it's red and chunkier. It's nasty. Ugh. And it's and you have to, like, warm it up. It's gross. It's but delicious. It's healthy beets for you. It is delicious. Yeah, I don't like beets. 
Wow. All right, and you can serve it cold, and you can serve it hot, right? There's two yes, ways. Yes, there is yeah. two ways, but a lot of people prefer hot. Hot, oh, very good. Okay, so that's a kind of soup or a stew. Yep. This is Blinny. It's almost like our our um way of having um really really thin pancakes rolled up and stuff. This is our this is what we call Blinny, and this is our way of how we um have it. So like a crepe almost? Yeah, it's almost like a crepe, yeah. Okay, very good. That's and do you, do you put things inside or on top of it? You can put things like... inside, on top of it. I like putting um fruits and stuff inside of it. A lot of people put sour cream on top. It's almost like a taco. They use it as a taco or I mean like they make stuff with tacos out of it if they wanted to. But a lot of times they they mostly just put stuff on top or inside. It all depends on what your taste is. For sure. Okay. This is smoked salm salmon. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, or salted herring, which is fish. I'm not big on fish, but then again, other people are. <laughs> And then they put a lot of, they like their season. They like spicy. Russians love spicy hot foods. I'll give you that. Yeah, all right. This is shashklik, shashklik, which is almost like our burgers. This is a really weird one. So it's like a burger, but also like a steak. So our burgers are hard like a steak but we burnt, like we're almost like they're burnt, but they're not. It's hard to explain. So it's, it's like a like a grilled meat? Yeah, it's a yeah. grilled meat and it's almost like, it's hard, it's tough like steak, but it looks like a burger. Gotcha. And you put bun, like it, you make a bun, it's like a burger bun, but it tastes, it's tough like meat, like steak. If it makes sense. Makes sense to me, all right. And in the middle, it's like chicken or something in there. It looks like a kebab. Yeah. Yep. All right. This is dumplings. It's, um, how would you explain that? That is like uh, potatoes. Like pierogi. Yeah, almost like pierogies, but smaller. Oh, yep. Yeah. So it's almost like we have crab balls and crab cakes. That's how this is, pierogies and dumplings. Do I like it? No. Do I love it? Yes. Well, I'm sure you do. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And this here's... is stroganoff. It's, I never had it, to be honest. This is the main food I never had before, but I hear it's good, but I never really attempted to try it. So, it so that's, that's layers of meat and noodles and uh, spices and onions. And yeah, and they do it. like their lemons. That's how I liked my lemons when I was younger. Right. I thought stroganoff was a different kind. Of, like, I thought it came from uh, maybe Sweden or somewhere in there. But So I was surprised when we were researching that this was originated in Russia. So that's very Yeah, it's it's... It's weird. It comes from Russia, then it's almost like China, like Chinese food, and it's just crazy. It's, it's weird how things happen. Yeah, small world when it comes to food. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to stop sharing. Oh, and, can I show them what I have? Yeah, absolutely. We have, uh, we have a little bit of show and tell. So, this plate is actually a Russian doll plate. It's almost like these except it's a plate. I got this when I was in Russia or when I was adopted from Russia. I never got it until my sixth or seventh birthday. Then I have these mushrooms. So inside you open it up and you have these tiny little mushrooms here. As you can see. And they have like little faces on them. <laughs> yeah, pretty fun. So we have the mushrooms, and then we have this all came from Russia, handmade. Somebody actually handmade it. Sorry about the squeaky noise. But it keeps going and going and going, and there's more little ones in here. 
And then the little one is here. And there's another baby one in here, but it's hard to get out, so we just don't open it. So Anastasia, I know people here sometimes call those nesting dolls or yeah, or that's Russian. what they're called. That's what I they're call called. them Russian dolls, but people call them nesting dolls. Yeah, because they go within each other. Yeah. Um, I don't know if people ever heard of a show called Masha and the Bear. I'm not sure if they have heard of it. Well, I actually have the doll from her. Sam Sam Livingston says he heard of it. Well, Masha and the Bear, this looks, reminds me of the girl from Masha, and she's also Russian. And I got this when I was three years old on my third birthday. So literally right after I got here, a year later, I got this doll. <laughs> Pretty crazy. Yeah. Oh, and then this one's a fun one. So this, this, we got this, so actually in Russia, you know how we, how here in Maryland, how we have like, um, on Easter, we um, tie-dye eggs. Mm -hmm. Actually in Russia, we do not. We have a new way of doing that. We actually put a hole on the bottom of the egg. We take all the yolk out so it's all hollow inside of it. And then you paint and you can do whatever you want on the outside. I had this handmade by somebody. Oh, I have one of those at home too. Yeah. And we make them actually now for on Easter. So that's like our new thing now. We take hot wax and we take this certain tool and you just design like just make designs on the eggs. Mm -hmm. It's really cool. And then we got this little thingy. This is fun. It has some chickens. And you just spin it around. These are really big in Russia too. And it's just a fun little toy that people have. I found a working one. Mine actually broke. And then I have a keychain one. So if you ever want to go to Russia, you can always get a small keychain that doesn't open but they're all handmade. So that's my little show and tell. Any okay. questions? Good, let's, uh, let's go ahead and open, open it up. up. Uh, so Jesse, if you could unmute everybody and we'll see if we've got some questions. Sam Livingston, you're up first once we're unmuted. First things first, I do wanna say that was amazing. So I just wanna give you a Round of applause for that right now. Oh, before I think I so. Second thing is, I just want to know when, were, how old were you when you, you know, moved to the U.S. of A? I um, was a year and a half mm -hmm. when I moved here. I was almost two. I came here in June. My birthday is in July, mm -hmm. 24th. Do you remember um, anything about Russia? I don't remember anything, but I just remember having mom tell me all these stories so actually me and my brother I my brother that's from russia uh -huh. born and adopted but from the same orphanage but from this from different families that's cool danny said he has a question in the chat so he right. yeah what about the other slide we were going to do the love and the other words like back there we don't have a whole lot of time out there yeah we were just we wanted to make sure we got to some of the culture danny what i'll do is i'll send you guys the slide yeah deck, i was about though. to say can we see like an email or something about it yep That's a great I idea a, yeah. i have a note i will send you guys a, a link to the slide deck i think it's probably mm -hmm. too heavy by email but it'll be on google slides so. i used to have those dolls those version of those dolls at home at my old house but they're gone now i think yeah it's i have porcelain a porcelain dolls bunch. right yeah, or something porcelain these are, I think these are kind of balsa wood or something. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think there's like different versions of them too. I think, um, I remember in like one of the Toy Story movies, there was a version of it. Oh, that's right. You're right. I forgot about yeah. that. Well, Elena. Uh, Elena, you had a story to share? Uh huh. I guess so. Ms. Camacho, are you with us? She's, uh, I think, still muted. She's muted still. Oh, hold well, no, on. Let's, let's yeah, solve that. She's Marina, muted. You're still <laughs> muted, girl. Should be unmuted. There we go. There you go. So, <laughs> this is funny. So, my dad, when he was in the Air Force, he was a linguist, and one of the languages he specialized in was Russian. Well, at the beginning of his career, there were still tensions between the U.S. and Russia. Well, so every time 
my grandparents went to Russia, my dad was called in to, by his commander. They were like, I can't remember what his title was because I was so young. And they were like, so and so, Pacha, we are aware that your parents were in Russia. And so each time they went to Russia, my dad had to be debriefed. And one time my brother, he actually got a picture taken with some Russian Navy, but that picture's downstairs. And they actually smuggled out, and Stash, correct me if I'm wrong, a balalaika, which is a Russian guitar, and a, um, but it's kind of like a, like what do you pour, like what would you pour like draft beer in in, in Russian, but those are all downstairs. Mm -hmm. and we also do have some Russian nesting dolls, so that's kind of my dad's, it's kind of a funny story. Yeah, it sounds funny. <laughs> and they're all, all of our artists are all in the basement, but it's a mess. Dosh would agree with me. She's seen yes. our basement. Mm -hmm. All right. Any other questions? Me. Um, oh, sorry. Donnie, did you say you had a question? Yes. Okay. Neat. Yeah, go ahead, sir. If there was a tunnel when you watch, me and my mother would go hard in. You, uh, that's a good good plan. I think that's a good plan. What are you saying? I'm sorry. Uh, I said if there was a tornado watch, that he and his mom would go hide. So. Mm -hmm. I think safety first, so that's good. Yeah. Um, let's see who else we got. Uh, let's see. Oh, David Godoy, you can unmute yourself. <laughs> Hold on, David. I don't. You may want to check your volume, buddy, because I still can't hear you. <laughs> I'm yeah. Yeah, you. There you go. Did you Did you get a chance to watch the soccer team for Russia when they were to the World Cup? That was actually a good question. I did not. Hmm. I I was too busy doing something else. Yeah. Have you but been I do like watching it? Russian um the Russian gymnast because I used to be a gymnast. You mean like Nastia Lukin? Huh? You mean like Nastia Lukin? And anyone you... really. And my second question would be. Do you still have family members who, who live in, in Russia? I do not, but my grandparent, okay, one of my, this is actually a kind of funny story. My grandmom thinks that she's Russian when she's really not Russian. She's actually Polish. So all these foods that we have are mixed in with Russian and Polish foods. But we don't tell her that because she wants to think that she's full Russian. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Um, yeah. Have you ever been back to Russia ever since you, you know? I've never been back, but I really want to. Mm. That's why I've been teaching myself Russian. That's great. All right. We so, have thank you for your time. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Anastasia. Oh, yeah. Anastasia. Yeah. Anastasia. 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 I have a question. Monique. Monique. Yeah, go ahead, Monique. Okay. Um. First of all, thank you for letting me know this because I did not know you were Russian. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's time for everything. So when, if you can remember, when or what was your first word in English? If you can remember. Oh. That's a good question, Monique. Yeah, that's a very good question because actually, if you guys don't really realize this, I actually probably went to five different schools and I went to a lot of speeches just to learn English. Mm -hmm. Wow. Because I understood Russian, I just couldn't speak it. So I want to say my first word in Rush in English was probably mom or dad, just like any other kid would know. <laughs> wow. I'm sure. And I my brother, I remember my brothers. My brothers was train. Because we had to take a 20 something hour train ride to get mm -hmm. home. And then we had to fly another 14, 13 hour drop, like flight. So it's crazy. It's a long ways there. Hey, Jason. Yeah. Me and Asia, we kind of, and my dad, we kind of have this, this little joke 
because her name, because she also has all those Anastasia dolls, like from the, the movie Anastasia. Oh, yeah. So we kind of joke oh, that, wow. you know, if your name is Anastasia, you might just be the, uh, the, re the lost princess. The reincarnation, uh, you mean? And I guys, can I show you one more thing? Yeah, let me we spotlight time, you. Yeah. This used to be a music player, but it broke. Oh, yeah. Since my name is Anastasia, I got this. Mm -hmm. For my 10th birthday, I was allowed to have it on my 10th birthday because it's flax. And actually, somebody in Russia, when mom was there, is everything, mostly everything that I have from Russia is all handmade. Yes. Very cool. So they actually handmade this. Yeah. Lovely. But unfortunately, it broke. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. That's really cool, Anastasia. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it faded a lot because it's actually... Handmade. Her dress used to be this yellow. <laughs> Over oh, time, wow. it faded. Double wow. Mm -hmm. So that, that's, that's how long I had it for. <laughs> Are you sure you've had it since Once Upon a September? Probably. <laughs> it's a joke from the movie. Good one, Sam. Anastasia, you know, you're also kind of like the character Esther from Orphan. Mm -hmm. Your favorite horror movie. <laughs> yeah, I've got to see that movie. Okay, uh, Michael, do you have a question? Is your hand up there, sir? Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, I know, Anastasia, I know you, you, you're from Russia, right? Right. Um, when I was in middle school and in sophomore high school, we had what was known as foreign exchange students. Mm -hmm. And we had some foreign exchange students from your country of Russia, and they came from like um, a place called Mos Moscow. Moscow. Russia, I was told. Mm -hmm. So we got a chance to meet them. They had a chance to meet us. Oh, so we just uh, you know what? Since we got foreign exchange students from Russia, why don't we just try and be friends with them? So, cool. so now we have so now we have friends in, from Russia. That's great. That's awesome. Oh, uh, Danielle, do you have a question? She was she was mentioning me trying to get herself unmuted, but she yeah. wouldn't, wouldn't work. Yeah. She has something to say. Okay, I've asked. You have to do it yourself, Danielle. I think I think I hit the right button. Maybe not. Uh -oh. Well, she's in the darkness. That's why. That's right. All right. Okay. So I think that brings us to the end. Thank you, Thank Anastasia. You, Anastasia. Oh. Thank you, Anastasia. Thank you, Anastasia. Where's right. Ben today? Uh, Ben's not going to be helping us for uh, in the chat rooms anymore. So we are. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay look, please, I'm here. I don't know what happened. Yeah. Oh, you know what happened? Did you, did you have a question? No, I try. I try to fix my computer, but it's not even working. Cause I know what? why. Well, I just I have a question for her, but I don't speak. Um, I don't speak Russia before. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. It's all right. Her English is very good. Yeah, I agree with that. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> better than Anastasia. Most. Yeah. Is "poshly" a Russian <clears throat> word? Is what? Poshly. Poshly. Yes, it is. I can't remember what it means. I know we. I know we said it a lot when we. Oh, yeah, poshly means um, let's go, Vominos, let's go, poshly. Oh, awesome. Don't take Just away. Just say Vominos poshly. Don't take away David's Spanish for next week. Come on. Oh yeah, next Tuesday, <laughs> right? <laughs> so, but first we have the the virtual games. Yeah. Um, block, block party. Then we have David's. And then we have oh, Jesse Fresh Players yeah. thing. It's gonna be really fun. And then yeah. we have Sam's uh reality TV thing. That's on a Thursday. Yeah. Oh, we changed the date on that. I guess. That one was changed. Yeah. Oh. So thank you. What's for tomorrow? Tomorrow. Nothing, tomorrow. nothing going on tomorrow. Workout. Good Saturday. Saturday. Can I just say oh, it was on. Oh, okay. oh yeah, Anastasia. You it was go. on a calendar yesterday. I was like, oh. Anastasia, you got the final word. Here we go. So, just to let you guys all know, where I was at originally from, I was originally from from Saratov. I was two hours away from Moscow. So I was on the Volga River. River. Mm -hmm. 
and so was my brother, but we were from, so actually I was on the, the poor side and my brother was on the richer side. So we do Ooh. have poor and rich places in Russia, just like here, everywhere. Mm. So then they took us to an orf orphanage and they're like, well, here's your child, basically. And that's how I got here. Mm -hmm. So well, I'm and sorry. Anastasia, we're glad you're here. I am too. <laughs> glad you're part of uh, our organization and I really appreciate you sharing, giving us a little insight into uh, Russian culture. I know there's so much more, but this is a good start for us. So thank you. Yeah. Uh, so, Jason, now I can come.